never. Meghan and Harry's crime pushes them in the deep end, they banned form set foot in UK again. Samantha Markle believes that should her sister, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry decide to return to the UK, it would be incredibly awkward after their dramatic exit. The Duke of Sussex chose not to attend a memorial service for his late grandfather due to this, a move that left Samantha far from impressed. She fumed, he should have hired more of his own security, they live a lavish lifestyle, they can afford security, it's ridiculous. Security for a weekend of something is not that expensive and I'm pretty sure they have security now. She went on to add that it was mind-boggling that Harry would say security issues are preventing him from attending, given the family will have members of their own security, as well as that of the European royals. Meghan Markle's sister, Samantha believes the former actress and Prince Harry have burnt their bridges with the British public after their hurtful attacks. Harry, 37, and Meghan, 40, left the world speechless when they decided to step down as senior working royals in January 2020. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry reportedly banned from Prince William's 40th. While insiders had hoped that time would heal their wounds, it seems the reverse has happened. In fact, we're told, Harry's recent actions, including the decision to snub his late grandfather Prince Philip's memorial service next week, have apparently shocked and appalled William, and have made him reconsider any olive branches he was willing to extend, including the pressing matter of whether he should include Harry in his 40th birthday celebrations. According to insiders, William has decided that, rather than wait for Harry and wife Meghan Markle to decline, he's simply not going to invite them. William still loves Harry, that will never change, but his apparent insensitivity makes him persona non gratu at the moment and it will take some miracle for that to change, says a source close to Wills, who will be turning 40 on the 21st of June. The feeling is that, even if Harry and Meghan decided to come to William's celebration, and that is a big if, their presence would bring a whole fresh set of problems, and nobody wants that. Meghan and Harry have delivered several bombshell interviews, most famously with Oprah Winfrey, during which, Meghan claimed she had suffered racism from within the royal family. The pair however decided not to name the person who is claimed to have made comments surrounding the race of their firstborn, Archie Harrison. Harry also claims he was financially cut off by his dad, Prince Charles and even claimed the Prince of Wales refused to speak to him on the phone. Speaking exclusively to the Daily Star from her home in Florida, Samantha said, I can't speak for the British people but from what I've heard, the pulse of the people is not likely. Their actions against the royal family and the racial mudslinging that took place in the media was so hurtful and egregious that you can't take back the spoken word. There are some things that you can, you can forgive but it seems to be an ongoing thing. The former actress continued, it's one insult after the other and people can only take so much before the impression is solidified. You might be able to forgive but you don't forget and it makes that inability to forget makes things very awkward and they can never be as cozy as they once were. Since leaving the United Kingdom in favor of a life in California, Harry has returned to his home country on two occasions, once for his grandfather Prince Philip's funeral and for the unveiling of a statue of his mum, Diana, Princess of Wales and an Invictus charity event. He was stripped of his protection from the Met Police after stepping down, a move that he claims is the reason why he cannot return to London. A spokesperson for the pair said they fund a private security team but their own security cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed in the UK. Harry's team claim that his private security guards do not have access to the same level of intelligence that security provided by the UK state would be able to access.